How are you viewers? Today we will talk about the phylum Protozoa. Protozoa are the unicellular having one cell, eukaryotic, having true nucleus and other characteristics, motile, they are microscopic. And examples of protozoans are amoeba, intamoeba, plasmodium and trypnosoma. Mostly they are parasitic, causes diseases like dysentery, diarrhea, malaria, sleeping sickness. Here is amoeba. Amoeba is a unicellular organism. It has pseudopodia, which act as moving food vacuoles. Ectoplasm are the outward outgrowths, nucleus. They have contractile vacuole to, for balancing excess water inside the amoeba. And they have intoplasm. It also consists cell membrane cytoplasm and nucleus. And plasmodium is also protozoan porifera they include sponges multicellular the pores inside the porifera are socia sessile aquatic feed on bacteria in water colonial solitary don't have nervous system digestive or circulatory the examples are cyclone glass sponge bath sponge and spongila eucalyptila and leucocelenia here discuss about the some characteristics they have sponges have body wall pinecoderm and made of pinecocytes inner layer is quanoderm they have single cavity inside the body called spongocele the pores through which water enters is called ocea water leaves the body through the pore is osculum they have no respiratory or circulatory system they have sexual reproduction asexual budding and gemules now we discuss about cell entrata. These are called diploblastic animals. They have special cells, nidocytes. These cells give rise to nematocyst characteristics of this cell. And they have outer ectoderm and inner endoderm. And they have gastrovascular cavity which open outside only one opening the mouth. Roots, polyps and medusa, polyp are cylindrical animals. Medusa are umbrella-like. Medusa involve in sexual reproduction. The mouth is surrounded by tentacles which help in offense and defense. And they are carnivores, feed on organisms and the food is transported through diffusion. There is no central nervous system and cylindrates produce hard exoskeleton of calcium carbonate. And they have asexual as well as sexual means hydra reproduce asexually by formation of birds and after birds separate and develop into individual obelia is known as white phylum platyhelminths are also known as flat worms they are triploblastic acellumates they have three layer endoderm ectoderm mesoderm they have bilateral symmetry the body is unsegmented it includes tenia solium, tapeworm, fascula hepatica, liver fluke, cystosoma, blood fluke. These cause disease in humans and the size range from 10 mm to several. They have sag like digestive system and some species have absent. The excretory cells are called flame cells and they have no respiratory and circulatory system. And liver fluke, it is endoparasite in sheep and occasionally in human beings. It has suckers to attach the host tissue and it completes its life cycle in two hosts, snails, sheep or men. It lives in the bile duct of its host, tapeworm. It is endoparasite of humans, cattle, pig. It completes its life cycle in two hosts. The intermediate host is pig or cattle. They have ribbon-like segments called proglottids which contain sex organs and these segments break off and pass it with along the feces. Tania solum is through infestation, it goes on in disinfestation. And planaria. Planaria is a free-living plate flat worm in ciliated with its outer surface and it digests by free feed on animals and dead and decaying animals and it moved by cilia present on underside in parasitic forms the movement is restricted
So these were the characteristics of the phylum Platyhelminths. Now we discuss about phylum Nematoda. Nematode means pointed ends. Nematodes are triploblastic. The digestive system is in the form of elementary canal with two openings. Excretory system consists of excretory canal and excrete through excretory pore and the nerve ring around the pharynx. The organs of sensory are papilla present on the lips at the interior in circulatory and respiratory system absent. And Ascaris lumbroquitis is intestinal parasite of man and it causes many diseases in human beings as well as in plants and these are the parasites most nematodes are parasites and there now we discuss about hookworm it is also known as inclystoma duodenally it is parasite of small intestine in asia north africa europe it holds the villi of intestine suck the blood and produce anticoagulant to prevent clotting of blood and feeding on the ward bleeding in children it causes severe anemia physical and mental growth and also enterobius vermicularis cause elephantiasis diseases in human beings leads are triploblastic silomate bilateral symmetry they are freshwater dam soil like earthworm and parasite like leech they have Digestive system, two openings, mouth and anus. They have lobby structure in mouth, known as prostomium. Excretion takes place by nephridia, well-developed nervous system. Annelids are the invertebrates having closed circulatory system. The respiratory system is expanded. It takes place by diffusion. And there are three classes, class polyketa. It includes nerys and class oligoketa in which earthworm is included parathema posthuma and class herudini that includes the medicinal leech so this is phylum annelida phylum mollusk are triploblastic unsegmented and soft body they divide into head foot and visceral mass Mantle secretes shell and shell contain gills and mollusk have rasping tongue like radula with horny teeth. Body is complex digestive, respiratory, circulatory, nervous and reproductive. It includes three classes gastropods that include land snails and slugs, octopods and bivalve class includes mussels. They have laterally compressed plate like gills. These are some characteristics of the class Bivalvia. And these are the members of Phylum Mollusca. Phylum Arthropoda include living organisms having jointed legs. The body is segmented. Arthropods have found in land and water. They are they have head, thorax, abdomen, body covered with chitinous cuticle, secreted by epidermis. They have digestive system having two openings, and malphigian tubules are the excretory organs in arthropods. They excrete uric acid. It includes three classes: class crustaceans, that include Daphnia, prawn, crabs. Class Insecta, that include ladybird, butterfly, wasp, dragon, and arachnids, that include ticks and mites. Class Myriopoda, that include centipedes and millipedes. These are the arthropods, and it is the largest kingdom of all the living organisms found in the world, and they have very big economic importance and they are beneficial insects they provide main honey wax silkworm uses in silk 
Many are scavengers, eat dead bodies and dead animals. Insects larvae are source of food for the fish. So it is the largest of all kingdoms. Echinoderms found in marine and sea, they have enclosed in shells, sexes are separate, regeneration is common, carnivorous feed on snails, and they have water vascular system, and they have complex system of tubes in the mouth, and they have tube feet for movement, and the water circulates through the chest. They have radial cleavage. Blasto performs the NS deuterostome. The examples are starfish, sea cucumber, and brittle star. They are certain common biochemical pe peculiarities. For more informative videos on YouTube, subscribe our channel Science Info. Thank you for watching us.